no comment. Hey y'all, good morning. So, normally, I probably would not be filming today because it's Monday. Um, but I'm off work today. So, I have my follow up appointment for my damn head shit at work today to check on my head it's like I don't know I don't know what is going on like I, I, have to, we have to, I gotta sit down so we can talk about this I don't know what is going on in the world in the universe right now so three weeks ago when cutting my braids out that I have my box braids I cut my hair my hair used to be like right here. No, it's right here. The next week, I burned my damn hand. Last week, a mild concussion. Then last night, it started hurting out of nowhere. I was literally, when I was driving to go meet Simone, literally completely out of nowhere. My wisdom tooth on the bottom, it's starting to hurt, meaning that I need to get it extracted. Going on in the universe <laughs> with me as far as pain. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But <laughs> it's the universe like in retrograde or something. That whole Mercury retrograde that I was people talking about. Like, what is going on right now? This is the fourth week in a row where I have had something bodily harm accidentally bodily harm body mutation I don't know <laughs> like I don't know but I know yesterday and I thought I was tripping but now I woke up this morning and my entire jaw like it's hurting and it's at the bottom so I'm pretty sure that it's wisdom deep <sighs> so now I'm about to go head to the gym then I'm gonna stop by my office. I'm gonna head, go I'm gonna head to the gym. We'll come home. We we'll get dressed and stuff. Cause it's it's early. It's like seven o'clock. I'm gonna go by my office. Then I'm gonna see if I can make a dentist appointment for sometime this week or next week. <laughs> then I have to meet Simone again because I left my charger in her car last night. It's just, it's just, it's just hilarious. I literally woke up this morning and was like, just laughing. I, I was just laughing. I was like, this cannot, like, am I being punked? <laughs> like, <laughs> am I being punked? Like, literally, literally. First the hair, then the hand, then the concussion. Now the jaw. Like what? <laughs> it re it really even stems back further than that because it really was like there. My skin was on one for like a month because I was stressing so bad. Like I, my skin was terrible, and I just couldn't do it. No matter what I did, it just wouldn't just would. And oh god, y'all, let's pray about it. We gonna pray about it. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Turn this music down before I get copyrighted. Uh, so I'm just headed to stop by the office real quick. My new office for the brokerage that I'm at is finished. It's been months been waiting for months and so now it's finally done and so now I can finally be in office um, I'm a person that like works better like when I'm in office even though I have a home office but I work better when I'm in office just because it like gets you you know out of your um, environment um, 
Plus, I like to like taking meetings and stuff where I can take meetings at an office, not like getting together like at a Starbucks or a Panera or something like that. So, but to head over to see the new office. It's my broker called me and said it's done and finished the construction. So, stopping by there really fast, um, just like an hour or two, and then uh, gotta finish running some errands. So yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Y'all, it started pouring outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I thought, literally thought it was traffic. It is pouring down outside. So y'all yeah, was ready to leave, but I think I was staying here a little bit longer until uh, this rain passed because Good morning guys, so I'm up, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm headed to the dentist's office because my jaw is on fire, um, my wisdom teeth on the bottom are killing me and so I had to wait till today to go get an appointment. I'm headed now to my regular dentist because I didn't know this. Y'all tell me if y'all knew this. I didn't know that you couldn't just call an oral surgeon and just be like, hey, like this is happening, I need this. You have to go through your dentist. So I'm over here calling the oral surgeons and they're like, yeah, no, you can't book it through us. You have to go through your dentist. So then I had to call my dentist to make an appointment with him so he can then evaluate me and then refer me to another dentist. So it's like, y'all just getting free money because I already know what's wrong. Like, you're just getting free money to tell me what's wrong just to write a little sheet of paper to send me to another dentist. Like, y'all, y'all got, they got the game on lock, honey. So, I have to go and be a walk-in appointment and just sit in my car and wait. And then hopefully, whatever oral surgeon they refer me to can get me in, like, today or tomorrow because when I tell y'all my jaw is on fire, like, I cannot win for losing, y'all. Like, first I cut my hair. Then I burned my hand. Then I had a concussion. Now my wisdom teeth. Like, is it, is it, is it, I think it's like, it's gotta be like Mercury, what's it called? Mercury retrograde, something. It's something, because this is not, duh! <laughs> so yeah, I'll update you guys on what they say in a little bit. So, I was able to get a consultation with the oral surgeon that my dentist referred me to today. That's where I'm at now. I'm out here in Smyrna. And, but they don't have an appointment to do the surgery until next Friday. So, I have to be in pain for another week. They gave me some antibiotics, though, which they said will hope, um will like help with the pain and they they say it will let me tell you how crazy the medical system is guys right so i have three wisdom teeth left i got my bottom right taken out years ago so because it was coming in and it was hurting me just like this left side is now so i was just bartending at the time i did not have a job that had insurance i didn't have any kind of insurance and so i went to I was like researching my friend was telling me about this place you could go and get your wisdom teeth removed and it was it literally cost me forty dollars forty dollars how much I let it go for about forty dollars forty dollars to get this wisdom tooth done it was something for when you don't have insurance and it's a place you could go I think it was called Valley Healthcare Medical something I don't know no insurance, $40 to get a wisdom tooth taken out. Y'all, I just had to pay $106 
for a consultation, for a consultation, $106. Then the surgery is going to be, I don't want to lie to y'all. I think that, I think it's 20, it's like a little over $2,300 for the entire surgery. Estimated. Based off of the estimate, my portion with the medicine that I really, really need, um, some ex Expiril, it's like some numbing stuff that's like time release so you don't feel any pain. That's like, it's $300 by itself. So my portion of it, if I get the medicine, is $1,004. My portion, if I do, don't get the medicine, which mind you is the best medicine for it with the pain because if not I just have to get like on perks or Vicodin or something like get pills still even then $704 like what so I'm like wait okay so like, like, no one like 40 no one like 80 so 40 80 what's that 120 160 without insurance it would be costing me $160. But with insurance, it's costing me $700 or $1,000 if I get the medicine that I really need. Welcome to the American healthcare system for working people. Goddamn. Sound right, boy. And then this is the meds they gave me clindamycin. So they told me to take it. Oh, Lord, focus. So they told me to take it two right now then one in six hours, and then every day up until my surgery, one every six hours. Hopefully it helps with the pain, because I can't deal, I'm struggling. So I'm trying something new, because I'm trying to stay on soft foods, because I can't eat anything like hard or crunchy. I got this at the store, it's the Kroger, it's the private collection. Their stuff actually be kind of good, this is a, five cheese and marmalade pizza now typically I hate cheese pizza but I'm gonna be staying away from meat as well as hard things for the next week hey guys good morning today is Friday I am headed to the gym uh, woke up feeling much better like even just after two doses of um that antibiotics like the swelling is like already started going down like on the inside of my mouth because i couldn't even like really open because my gums were so swollen from back in the back woke up feeling a hundred times better than i have the past what sunday monday tuesday wednesday the past five days so much better so i'm actually going to go to the gym this morning because i hadn't been able to go to the gym haven't worked out since monday because my jaw has just been killing me so bad and with work um so yeah, getting ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna try to go get a facial today. My face is crazy. It has cleared up a lot better in the past few weeks, but it's still got some stuff going on. So I'm gonna actually go see if I can go get a walk-in facial. We'll see. Um, got some work to do. Kind of just a chill Friday, cause I um have to uh. Y'all look at her, ma'am. What, what, are you, what? No one, she's so nosy. It sound right, boy. So 
I just pulled up from the gym and I get home and this is on my doorstep. Now, I have no idea who this is from, y'all. <laughs> Let's open it and see. This vase is beautiful. I love pink, right? But I don't know who this is from. Oh, I'm gonna put this right here. I'm just gonna lean it. it okay. Like so guys, I don't know who this is from. I'm a little worried, right? It's beautiful, I love it. It's called the Magnificent Pink Rose and Lily Bouquet. Everyone knows I love pink, everyone knows I love lilies, right? So this is obviously a person who knows me, because it's pink and it's lilies, right? What does it say? All it says is, keep growing. Let me stop, let me stop it down. All it, oh God, now it's no light, guys. Okay, all it says is, keep growing and keep inspiring others. We see you, a friend and admirer. I don't know where this is from. Okay, so let's work this out, right? It's obviously someone who knows me because it's pink and it's Lily. Obviously, it's someone who I hope knows me because it's got sent to my home address. But I don't know who this is. You know what's crazy? You know what's so crazy? Literally for the past few days, I had been contemplating if I wanted to send some friends to my, send some flowers to my friend who, I just feel like she needs like a little pick me up, right? She posted something on Instagram and I'm like, yeah, but I'm like, I don't wanna send it cause I don't know where she is and I can't really do it without, tell, without asking her where she is. I can't really surprise her cause I don't know if she'll be in one city or in another city or she'll be working or whatever. Well, oh my God, then look at God. Somebody sent me flowers out the blue. How crazy is that? Yeah, how crazy is that? I literally, the past few days, have been going back and forth about it. And I was like, you know what? I said, I'm just gonna wait till the next time she comes to visit me and surprise her here. Cause, cause, I, cause I couldn't do it without her knowing something was up. Oh my god, I don't know who this is! I don't know who this is!
white boy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Y'all, I don't know what to say. I can't even thank the person. I guess I just gonna have to post it on Instagram and then hopefully somebody speaks up. Hopefully somebody speaks up. Bet, you know what I can do? I can do the sex. See, my brother did this one time with uh, this card thing. He didn't put his name, so I knew who it was. I called the company, they told me who it was. Maybe I can call one of the flowers and they'll tell me who it was. <sighs> All right, guys. So we are taking these braids out because they're just a little bit too loose and a little bit too much just like curling. I'm looking real dusty. <laughs> but we're going to make sure to cut these bitches way low. Way, way low. <laughs> so that I don't cut my hair off again. <laughs> But yeah, it's time for these to come out. Yesterday, yes, yeah, yesterday made two weeks exactly. And you can see like how loose they are. Looking real, real dusty. So we got to get back cute, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get back cute. Y'all, I cut this shit out of my hair. Look at how short my hair is. I cut this shit out. Here. I'm so mad. Like I really, I really, I really want to cry. I really want to cry. <laughs> my hair was the way I literally cut like an inch and a half, two inches off my hair with those stupid ass box frames. Good morning. Um, today is Sunday, as you can see. Today is not a Sunday fun day. Today is a self-care, chill Sunday. I have not left the house. I actually didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I had some stuff going on yesterday, so I didn't, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I had a really long day. Um, and even today, it's been kind of a chill day. Like I feel like this vlog is about to be dumb short and really not about to have too much on it. I may not even upload it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Um, so today I've just been uh, talking to Lonnie about some stuff on the phone, doing some reading, and um, 
editing editing the vlog that's gonna go live tomorrow um, I'm gonna also be uploading my what's in my gym bag video this week uh, so yeah I, I've been chilling I've been working as y'all know with this wisdom tooth situation I kind of just been chilling been taking my meds and haven't really done anything I haven't even had anything um, crunchy to eat <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I just been chilling. Even now I'm about to sit here now. I'm about to make my food for the week. It's about, literally about to be just some vegetables with some, um, mashed sweet potatoes. Like, nothing, nothing major. So yeah, this has been a, this vlog's been pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been not doing much of anything because of my mouth. Diamond, what are you doing? She's so crazy, y'all. Like, what are you doing? So yeah, it's chilling. It's, it's Father's Day, so I actually had some schedule showing today, but then they got canceled. So that made me like not have to work as far as real estate today. So I'm chilling. Self care Sunday. It sound right, boy.